All right, guys, in my Max 6, we are back at the Dragon's Lair, and I have the great honor and pleasure to have for the second time on J. Cutler TV, Rafael Brandeo, all the way from Brazil. Rafael, welcome back to JTV, man. Hey, Dave. I'm so happy to be here again, you know, and do this interview with you, like speak English right now. Remember the first interview? I couldn't speak English, and now I, I, I can, so this is going to be better. I am thank, so yeah. Thank for for having myself here again. Thank you, thank you, Jay, for this opportunity. You know, how good is his English? This guy, unbelievable. I I can't believe how 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 well you're speaking. I was shocked. Flex Flex had told me how well your English is, and I I then I saw you a couple of days ago at the at the first day uh, opening, and I was blown away. You worked so hard. If it's only been two years since we did the first interview, it was right before the Arnold Classic in 2019. And at the time, I needed an, uh, uh, a translator to make sure your brother was there. Yeah, yeah my friend there. Gustavo. <laughs> yeah, my friend Gustavo translates for us. But now, it's perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. So you actually, uh, I want to talk about many things, but one of the things that I want to really uh, emphasize is that uh, you went to train with Flex in Florida at the, at the uh, old uh, Dragon's Lair in Boca Raton. You stayed there for many months and of course, that helped you, you know, learn the language. But you also, you and your wife actually hired a, uh, a, a coach to yeah. speak English, right? Talk about yeah. that. So when you went to train with Flex in the Brocaton, I couldn't speak English, you know. So the first two months was like terrible for me because Flex was teaching me every day some, some tips and I couldn't understand, you know. So I was very frustrated, you know. So this make me do more for myself and for my wife, you know. So we had a coach, we had a five days a week English class and training with Flex every day made me, you know, speak English better, you know. How long did you have the coach for? So five days a week for how long? Oh, it was like six months. Six, six months. months? Yeah, six months. Wow. Six months. Was yeah. your wife better speaking English than you or same? It's the same, same the yeah. same, and <laughs> he says better. No better, <laughs> and Flex me, teach me a lot of you know I'm Flex. Sure. I don't know Flex have something different because he's very patient. You know, in the first two months he 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 can't he could understand me. You know, it's, it's strange because he don't he don't speak Portuguese, but he could understand myself. You know, so. I'm I'm so happy and very I'm very glad to have grateful flex. Yeah, yeah grateful yeah. to have flex you know because flex teach me a lot of not so not just about training yeah. but just about life just about business. business about English so flex I love you bro <laughs> Talk to me how that uh, how that happened. This whole connection with you and Flex. So you you did very well a couple of years ago at the Arnold. That was like your breaking year. You got on the map. People start looking for you. You did it again last year, right? You competed last yeah. year. I met Flex first time at um, a, a show in Canada. What, Karen? Toronto? No. Qual no. foi o show do Canadá que eu fiz? Niagara Pro. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto Pro, okay. yeah, yeah, 2018. Okay, okay. So we we met, I met him there, and after that I did Arnold 2019. Yeah. And after after Arnold, he sent a message for me, hey, hey, come here to train. He so you? yeah, invite me, and and two weeks I I'll be there, you know. So you went two weeks after and you lived in Florida up, yeah. up for like almost nine months, you said? Nine months, nine months, yeah. How was that? Tell me how was the life? Because I know you love Brazil. You told me yeah. Brazil is always going to be my home. I love the people in Brazil. Tell me how life was in the United States uh, training with Flex. How was that for you? It must have been a big change. Yes, big change. And it was perfect for train. you know. I, I learned a lot of with Flex. I had a lot of opportunities, you know. And it's different to live there because in Brazil, I had, I have a lot of friends around me, my family, and in Boca Raton was just myself and Karen and meet Flex at the gym, sometimes at, at House Flex, but it's you know was different, 
was very good because I learned a lot of and now I'm back here you know <laughs> did you feel like going to train with flex in Florida for nine months and not have any distractions and friends and family was like a training camp like you just went there for bodybuilding you lived it yes. you, that's all you did right yes all, all I did was did like train and rest and eating so like in Kuwait like at yeah, the oxygen yeah. and this made me like grow like, yeah grow <laughs> so but after this time COVID coming yes. and everything that's right. done but now I know I'm gonna be better here because look that know. you know <laughs> you feel the next energy level, like it's ne next level yeah so I'm very happy to be here again and train with flex you know <laughs> this year gonna be the most important year for flex I, I know flex gonna make history again because he's seven time Mr. Olympia but he gonna be the seven time Mr. Olympia, Olympia 212 and Mr. Olympia <laughs> in open. I I know I agree I I believe that I think he agrees know. with you too <laughs> so yeah I'm so glad to be part of this you know yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so grateful. So talk to me a little bit about what it's like to actually uh, train and do bodybuilding back home in Brazil. Uh, you have to, you guys in that country have the most intense bodybuilding fan. And I know because when we first did the first video on JTV, your video got over 80,000 views in like just a few days. And just a couple days ago when we did that 10 minute video, we will see you for like two minutes. All the comments on JTV are all Brazilian. Oh my God, Brandeo, next Mr. Olympia, they love you over there. So yeah. talk to me about the life uh, in Brazil and what it's like to, to be a champion over there. Bro, the life in Brazil is very good, you know. People love the bodybuilding because, you know, the athletes in Brazil make a lot of videos, a lot of, you know, tips in Instagram, YouTube, you know. We really bring people to the bodybuilding, you know, and this make it bodybuilding bigger in Brazil. Yeah. So I love be there, you know. I love my guys. I love my fans. I love. Are you like the king over there? Yeah, I love. <laughs> I love, bro. <laughs> you know. So it's it's amazing, you know. I I feel I I miss people in Brazil when I I'm here, you know. But my mind when I'm here is like, yes. do yes. do everything. You have to do, you know, yes. train hard, diet hard, sleep hard, you know, to make me better. Yes. And then when I come back to Brazil, I can bring more people to bodybuilding. Yes. I can teach people everything that I learned here, you know. So this is like a door from Brazil to United States yes. and to United States to Brazil too. That's right. You it know? goes both ways. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, are you the first, uh, because I'm not, uh, I don't know about bodybuilding in your country that much. Are you the first person in Brazil to make it this far in the sports and bodybuilding? No. Do you know? Or? We had uh, Eduardo Correa, oh, you remember? That's what I forgot. Okay, yeah, okay, Eduardo yeah. Correa. But he is 212, yes, you know. You're he's 212. Yes. I'm open. So we had Luis Otavio. Okay. And 1999. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I remember. He made the Olympia? Ago, yeah, okay. he made the Olympia 30 years ago. Oh, okay. It's a long time. So not know. that many champions from no, here. From Brazil. No, 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 yeah. That's why. We have, but we have great athletes, yes. you know, in class. Soccer physique, player, yeah. Yeah, in class physique. No, in bodybuilding. Oh, class bodybuilding, physique, okay. uh, bikini, wellness is, oh, is from yeah. Brazil, you know. The whole sport is based on yeah. the country. Yeah, we have a lot of, yes. you know, athletes, good athletes. Yes. And I know Brazil going to make history in bodybuilding. Yes. You're gonna see, bro. The future, Brazil, gonna smash. I, th I think it's on your shoulders, though, because right now, as far as open and everything, the uh, you know they look at you and they really want yeah. they want to push for you for the Olympia title. I mean, I see it, Mr. Olympia, you know, Brandeo. So, is that good pressure for you, or is that Ugh, I gotta really perform here? How do you no, see that? No, it's a, a, it's a good pressure, you know, because I know I have a lot of people that trust in me, so this push me hard you know yes. every day I wake up and it's not just for me it's for my wife for my family for, for my sponsor for my country yeah. so this make me you know stronger <laughs> it's, it's it's really great you know I really feel um, that um, by flex 
inviting people like you and Hassan and John De La Rosa and so many people in his Dragons there. I think that's what he created. That's what he created in Florida. He created this environment where uh, uh, everyone is brothers and everyone is competitive, but everybody wants to win, but everybody pushes each other, right? Yeah, yes, it's true. Every, every Flex told you, everything is competition, yeah. you know? Training is competition, eating is competition, <laughs> everything. So this makes everybody better, you yes. know? Some some days we wake up like, oh, I feel lazy today, I'm f I don't feel good. But when I come here, Flex be here yeah. and push me. Yeah. And some days Flex too, you yes. know, oh, I'm not gay. But when we train together, it's like, you know, you yes. know like no distraction. Yeah. No worries, it's not business. not just business. Yeah. You know, it's business. You know? Are you still you still working with Chris Acido for your nutritionist, yeah. right? Yes. yes. How's that going? It's perfect. Yeah. Chris, I love Chris. I love. Have you Chris. always been with him? How long yeah. has it been since you've been working with him? I started. Uh, I started coach with Chris like 2018. Okay. Yeah, 2018, like good. three years ago. Yeah, it's good. He knows your body now. Yeah. 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 He knows. He knows yeah. everything. Chris is perfect for me. Yeah. Because. He know, he knows ever everything I have to do. You know, I'm a little different. I have to eat a lot of food. I have to to eat a lot of shit meals. Really? Yeah, and he knows how my body works. That's know? good for you. It's good. It's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah. So, have you decided uh, what you would like to do for 2021? Have you do you have your sight on the show? Do you want to say, or you don't have to, but. What, what would you like to do for this year? Yeah, I'm not sure yet because, you know, everything is like moving, yes. you know, slowly. slowly. So, I don't know, maybe I will do just Arnold Brazil. When is that? It's September. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how train here, yes. you know, because... Depending on your here, progress, yeah. Bro, train here, four weeks is like two months in Brazil, three months in Brazil. So, is it hard to now, <laughs> I think like, oh, just in... Arnold Brazil, same thing, but I don't know. After two months, you're ready. Yeah, <laughs> understand? Like, after 10, 10 weeks, you know? So it's harder to make progress back home? Do you feel like it's it's tougher to make progress back home? Yeah, it's, it's, I'm more busy, you know, there. Yeah. So a lot of things to do, yeah. a lot of You know traveling. too many people. Yeah, <laughs> too many people. So it's, it's harder, yeah. you know? Here is like just training. Easy. Yeah, it's easier because training is, is bodybuilder yes. life, you know, yeah. it's everything that I need yes. to make me better, you know. How does your wife take uh, the life in the United States? Does she like it? She likes it. She likes it. She likes We married here in Las Vegas, oh, no. so he me. yeah, he's, we love this place, yeah. you know. That's awesome. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not able to live here like, you know. Not yet, yeah. I'm able to stay here like three months yeah. and go back my, yeah. I don't know, one month or two months and yeah. go back here. You don't mind. I mean, yeah. you, you, love, you love your country. You, like, yeah, you have to go back. Yeah. So I have to, yes. you know. I have my sponsor. My sponsor is really great. To Who is your sponsor? Darkness. Okay. The Darkness in Brazil and Integral Magica. Nice. Uh, they believe me a lot, you know. They help you out. Well. Yeah. Yes. So... Good. I have to come back to Brazil yes. and work for a day. Because and for your fans, too. Yeah, my fans, you yeah. know. Well, yes. speaking of your fan, I would love for you to, uh, because you were telling me, oh, if you could put uh, Portuguese, you know, subtitles, yeah. we would get a lot more views. So I don't know how to do that, but I would love for you to say something in Portuguese to your fan uh, so they feel like you're talking to them a little bit. Galera do Brasil, queria agradecer muito vocês. Se isso aqui está acontecendo hoje, vocês fazem parte disso, tá? Esse reconhecimento aqui fora também é de vocês, então muito obrigado a todos vocês que acompanham meu trabalho, que acompanham aí tudo que a gente vem fazendo nessa trajetória desde 2014, então realmente muito obrigado. O nosso esporte vem crescendo aí no Brasil, a gente vem se destacando aqui fora, como eu falei aqui para eles, tem muitos atletas bons no Brasil e eu acredito que no futuro o Brasil tem tudo para dominar o esporte. Obrigadão de coração. You know you speak very fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, he, he tells me, he tells me, please don't speak too fast during the interview, so I can understand. I said it always sounds fast when you don't know the language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. It's different.
Well, uh, Rafa, I'm very, very uh, honored and very happy uh, that you came back on JTV. I'm sure this video will do even better than the last one. Yeah. And you have a lot of fans in the world. They love bodybuilding. They love you. They believe in you. And so do we. And we're so glad to have you in the States, in the, in the Dragon's Lair in Vegas. And I'm sure we'll film many, many more time before the next show. It's a pleasure for me, you know, be here in JTV. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Jay. And I want to say thank you f to my sponsor, too. Yes. You know, I'm here because they believe me. You know, so, muito obrigado vocês a Darkness Integral Médica, acredita no meu trabalho, que me colocaram aqui. Tamo junto, vamos levar a Darkness aí pro topo do mundo. All right, and Dave Mad Max 6 for Jekyll TV with the great Rafael Brandeo. Until next time, and we're out. Thank you, guys.